Darren Dreger over the weekend reporting that uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to hire Mike Babcock basically on July 1st. He's going to get every penny from the Leafs, <laughs> and then he'll yeah. roll right over to Columbus and start a new deal. We haven't seen him in a long time. We haven't heard from him in a long time. Do you expect when we do see him, when we do hear him, to see and hear a different version of Babcock, or do you expect him to come with the heat and basically be the same guy because he got a job again? Why would he change? You know what? It's fascinating, Hey, So, like, I don't want to believe that people cannot change. I want to be open-minded and think that he might be able to. I, Mike Babcock's a bright guy. He obviously will say all the right things. He will be asked some tough questions in his opening presser. I imagine he will sound contrite and, and, and changed and educated and softer. What I want to know is what happens in the third game when someone misses an assignment, and then how does he treat people? Like, I think it's – when Mike Babcock came into Toronto, because of his track record, Olympic teams, Detroit, there was instant credibility and instant buy-in. Like, you're like, well, I'm going to – I'm not going to second-guess second, second guess him at all because he's Mike Babcock. Look what he's accomplished. What I think will be a challenge for him is that maybe the players have changed as, on a, as a whole, but also because of what's happened, the reports have gone out. I don't know if the guys will just blindly take – everything he offers up and how will that dynamic go when someone's like you can't talk to me that way or go go bug off because you can't you know i'm not hearing that noise can't treat me that way i just wonder when that sort of stuff happens if it does um you know what what the dynamic is it's curious fire to me not that babs isn't a good coach he clearly is but they already had a stern taskmaster demanding coach his name was john tortorella he was there two years ago so it seems like they're going back to a similar kind of guy looking for a different result. And if you're Johnny Gaudreau, you're like, hang on. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, I thought, you know, I was coming to Columbus for a different kind of experience, and now I'm right back into a, a really demanding guy. So he'll say all the right things, but I still think that won't be enough. He's got to show with his behavior that he's, that he's changed and that he's learned and he's a bit different. Otherwise, I don't think it would work with this group of players. And Columbus, who has a lot of money and want to spend it, there's probably already respectfully – here comes a disrespectful thing. There's probably a Columbus tax already because mm -hmm. it's Columbus and it's not New York. And now there might be a Mike Babcock tax for free agents. Like, do I want to go play for that guy for six years? What's my life going to be like when I do that? So, it, you know, Columbus is a, a unique market, but I don't know if they made it any easier for themselves to get free agents this summer. Well, Johnny, to add to that, if you just look at the roster, like – is Patrick Laine going to be a Mike Babcock type yeah. of guy? He like, doesn't have a know, choice. That's but, why I like it. You don't have a choice anymore. Well, it's not Patrick Laine world. Well, well Goudreau was great under well, Sutter. He was listen, great with and Sutter. Johnny, Johnny Goudreau had his best season under Daryl Sutter and by all accounts yeah. loved Daryl and wanted him, like wanted, if he was coming back, he wanted Daryl to be there for the duration. Like that's what you hear out of Calgary. But ultimately, like, this is a young team that's kind of turning over. Like, they didn't get Bedard. They're mm -hmm. going to get a good pick. They're going to get a good player. But, you know, is Babcock going to be in a situation here, Johnny, like he was in Toronto where some, you know, he doesn't have Matthews and Marner and, you know, Elander at a young age. He's got Johnny Goudreau, who's 29. Right. And, and, and Line at, what is he, 25, 26. Like, to me, this is a different type of team. I don't know if these guys, if it's the right fit. No, I, I think, I'm sure they're going to pay him a fair amount of money. I, I think Columbus has always felt desperate to get their name out. They want to make splashes, yeah, sure. right? They want As to they sign. should. Exactly. But I think, listen, and Goudreau was a big get. Goudreau yes. was the number one free agent. He's a, he's a stud. Yeah. But this feels more like them saying, if we can't get the players to put us on the map, we'll get the coach. We'll get the guy that will sure. have everyone talking about us. And that's exactly what's going to happen. When Mike Babcock shows up and he's going to be Mike Babcock and you do it right every – he's going to have all the cliches and he's going to do his thing and he'll do the rounds – and he'll be on his best behavior, and he'll make people in Columbus think, wow, this guy's the real deal, because right. he is. Yeah. But it's not. they're not going to win anytime soon. That team's terrible. Like, well, that Columbus team is terrible. That Mike Babcock got that Detroit team into the playoffs the last couple of years with basically no yep. business. And and his first year with, with talent in Toronto, he got them in the playoffs too. He's a great coach. Yeah. And yet, if you look at his track record, I don't think he's won a round in the playoffs his last, like, eight, seven, eight trips. Mm-hmm. Someone check it for me. So it's like, yeah, I'm not – of course he's a very good coach. He'll be a good coach for Columbus. He'll make them better. But I just think there'll be a healthy dose of deserved skepticism from the players 
who talk and get around, share agents, share stories about, you know, if he tries to ask someone to make a list of guys who don't work hard, that guy's going to be like, why don't you just take this list and show, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't think he gets that same kind of um, unquestioned loyalty right away. He's going to have to prove it, which is going to be different for him. We'll see how he deals with that uh, in a bit of a different situation.